Hi everyone, today I am going to plan out my work week in the Sprouted Planner. I have promised this video. Full disclosure, I haven't really been using it. I've mostly been using Notion and I don't think Notion is adequate, but I also don't know if a separate planner is adequate. So this plan with me is sort of experimental, but a big chunk of me thinks that starting next month, I'm just going to move my high level work shit into my regular planner. So we'll talk about that later, but for now, let's get into this. So this is the week of July 24th through 30th, 2023, in the weekly Sprouted Planner. I'll be using these, uh, the Statler Tripless Text Surfer in like a beige color, and then this uh, Sharpie S Note in kind of a caramel color with my Le Pen marker. And the framework I'll be basing this around is my HB90 system. I'll leave my review of that in the comments. I want to look at the projects that I want to get wrapped up or worked on this week, and I'm going to list them here with the time blocks that I'm going to assign to each of them. I'm going to have a list of projects in each of my goals. So the first goal is my content and like social media channels type related goal. So I will have two videos that I'll be working on over the course of the week. I will be working on... Um, the video for the 26th and the video for the uh, 30th. That's not accurate. I'm already fucking up. The video for the 30th is correct. The other one is the video for the second. All right. Those two videos will be what I'm working on for them. And generally speaking, so I'm going to put my estimated time blocks next to them. So we'll say estimated time block. I'm going to run a quick highlighter over that. What I'm, gonna do is I'm just going to color this in to kind of fill in that section just to make it look kind of neat. So for my videos, each of those generally the time blocks take about, I want to say two, four, six, on six time blocks each, usually. Two time blocks for filming, two time, and time blocks are about half an hour, pomodoras, right? 25 minutes plus five minute break. It's usually two time blocks to film, two time blocks to edit, one time block to prep, one time block to wrap up, but it can go, it depends on the video. Some videos are really short, some videos are really complicated. So that's my average, and neither of those I expect to be longer than an average video. And then what I'll put over here is actual time blocks. All right. So I'll fill those in here. And now if I think a time block is going to take longer than six, I'll have to give it, or longer than however many are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Longer than 14 time blocks, then I will give it an additional one. And there might actually be, because these are projects, not tasks. I'm not putting the tasks here because that would just be way too long. There wouldn't be enough space, I don't think. All right. So other projects I'll be working on in this first goal. I will be working on an Instagram post. An Instagram reel. And each of these will likely only take me about, I want to say two time blocks for the post, three time blocks for the reel as an estimate. We've got my live stream this week, live streams, which would be three time blocks for the patron hate. Two time blocks for the patron hangout and two time blocks for the patron live because the patron live requires some prep ahead of time. So that's four total time blocks for those. And then I will be updating my lead magnet, which the work I'm actually doing is this week. So I'm just going to be posting about it. So we'll give myself one time block for that. So that is goal number one. Those are all my tasks for goal number one. I'm going to leave a space or my projects. For goal number two, the big project is to, I only have, I have two big projects. One is to work on stuff for Chrissy and Designs. That's going to be a whopping 44 time blocks, big chunk of my week. So if there's 14 here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three is 42. So we'll do four. 
And then I'm also going to be getting my fuckery flowers sent off for production for the items that I do not produce in-house. 12 for those, which only needs one row, but because I filled in so many words, it's fine. So put that there. Fuckery production takes 12. And then finally, I have one other side job that is going to probably take me a good, I don't know, four time blocks. I'm just going to put project two because I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that one or not. So anyway, that's my second goal. Now, thankfully, my third goal is working on a course and I actually do most of that while I'm doing other things on dialysis. So I'm just going to put that on here to finish module three. And I'm just going to mark in any time blocks I have there because most of them overlap. So there's a lot of time blocks for this week. And my mother-in-law is coming into town. So I don't actually know how reasonable this is. I don't know if I've given myself enough reasonableness. But the current total, 12, 14, 17, 21, 22, 66, 78, 82. 82 time blocks plus whatever for brand plus brand. So we'll see how this goes. Probably what will happen if I can get everything else worked on is that I'll only get so much done with the Chrissy and design stuff, but I have to stay on top of that. So that's my list of goal related time block things. And then I have a couple of other admin tasks to get done as well. Schedule next week. My inbox. Update my budget. My weekly review. And my July review. So that is, and I guess I can put time blocks for those over here. Scheduling the week usually takes two time blocks. The inbox usually takes one. The budget usually takes one. The weekly review usually takes one. And the monthly review usually takes one. So that's an additional six time blocks on top for the admin tasks. Okay. And so what I'll do is I'll just color these in as the week goes on. Now here's the week. So what I want to do is really just mention here like tasks for each day and then tasks to do on dialysis. I'll just put on and off. And then over here, I'm gonna just make a note of any big events outside of dialysis that are happening that day to remind me that I only have so much time in the day. All right, so I'm gonna go through with my calendar and just pick out all of my non-work related stuff. Again, big things. That's what we're really going for here. So on, and I do have some of those because Monday the 24th, I have therapy. And I need to write that on here because I almost missed my last therapy appointment because I brain farted on it. Um, on Wednesday, I have a clinic appointment, which will take a couple hours. So I'm just going to say it's from nine until one, because even though the appointment is usually from nine 45 to 11:45. This also includes the time it's going to take to get there, get back, and also put all the supplies away that I'll be bringing home. So that takes up a lot of my non-dialysis day. On Thursday, I don't actually have, I have things on there like a delivery and shit like that, but I don't have to worry about that so much. What I do need to worry about is my mother-in-law will be arriving. So I need to be ready to Let's just assume her flight gets in in the afternoon, so we'll say 5 p.m. I just know I need to be done by then. Now, Friday, she'll be in town, so I'm just going to put this, like, here so that I remember that anything I'm doing on these days is going to be impacted by my mother-in-law being in town, which is fine. I'm happy to have her. I'm taking Saturday off. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff that day, so I'm just going to cross it out. Because of that, I'm just going to take this going down so that... I remember when I'm filling this out and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put in on each of these days on the days we plan to do dialysis. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes we do make changes, which is part of the joy of doing it at home. But 
in terms of planning purposes, you have to at least have an idea of when you're doing it, right? All right. So now that we've got this kind of set up, letting me know kind of what's going on. So I have an idea of how I'm going to be trying to get fit in all of these blocks. The other thing that um, is really important to my planning is what can I get done on dialysis? Because I may have 82 time blocks, but I'm also spending the equivalent of, I want to say 30 time blocks at least, like not counting the time it takes to get on and off of dialysis or the time I sort of spend at the front end and beginning end of treatment sort of settling in, playing some video games, watching some TV. Like I don't work completely through dialysis because that would just fucking be mind numbing while I'm sitting there with my blood being taken out of me. So, but I do usually spend about six time blocks worth of, no, that's not really right. I would say five time blocks on dialysis each day working. So right there, if that's five times five, that's 25 time blocks on dialysis, which will leave me under around 50 some odd time blocks off of dialysis. And I don't know how possible that is with everything I've got going on this week. So let's take a look. First and foremost, and again, like I said, I'm referencing my notion. If you want to get a slight walkthrough of that, I'll link you a video down below of what it was looking like when I filmed that. If you would like a more thorough update or something or a tutorial, let me know. Although I don't promise it because I don't feel confident necessarily to do that yet. All right. So on Monday, one of the things I'm going to be working on on dialysis is prepping my videos. I do that on every Monday, usually. And that's usually two time blocks on dialysis. We'll say five daily. Up here as a reminder. Two time blocks to prep videos. Although technically it usually takes about one time block because I just do it all at the same time. And then the next thing I'm going to be working on is creating some of my files for production. Now, I already have a lot of this work done. I just need to drop the, the um, gigantic, I did all the scanning and the editing. I just need to drop the images into the correctly sized files. So create files. That would definitely be, since it's 12 prints in different sizes, I'm gonna give myself three for that. So it leaves me one time block on dialysis. And so the other thing that I will be doing while I am on there is um, wrapping up my lead magnet, scheduling and testing it, because hopefully if I get everything done this week, that's all I'll have to do. So I am filming this a little bit early, so I may have to make some changes, but that's okay. I'm just making a dot next to that one because that one would be the one time block and that would be it for that one. So that's five time blocks on dialysis. Now post dialysis, because I have therapy and the therapy is an hour plus the driving on either end, we'll say two hours of that. And normally post dialysis, I have around five hours. So if we take two hours out of that, we'll say about three. So we see about six time blocks. It's not a lot of time blocks. And what I'm gonna do is just put, I'll, I'm gonna put brand plus brands modules down here because I'm not, the modules I'll have left. Because again, like I said, I just listened to them on dialysis. And so what I've got in my schedule is not necessarily what I'll be doing because it just depends on how it's sort of half-assed figured out. So I'm not gonna worry about those, the modules. We're just looking at the other two jobs. And so what I'm gonna be doing on that day is to be working on Chrissy Ann Design stuff. Now, so I said I would have six time blocks available to me. So I'm not going to write in the three things because it's generally about two time blocks per section of the way I have this divided up. So I'm going to take three of those, which would equal six time blocks. Moving to Tuesday. So one thing I have on Tuesday is a patron live at 430. That will be two time blocks right there. I'm also doing dialysis in the morning. And so on dialysis, I'm going to work on creating more files. And this is probably gonna be the postcard. So that's gonna actually take a couple of time blocks just on its own. So that's two. Um, I'm also going to uh, plan out my reel and my Instagram post, which will probably take about one total time blocks. And then I may try to do some Chrissy Ann Designs work. I have been 
experimenting with getting some of that done while I'm on dialysis. And so, but I just need to give myself a good two time blocks to work on that. So I'm gonna give myself a shot. I need to, it's a lot of work. So, all right. So that's on dialysis there, my five daily time blocks. And then over here, the patron live itself is going to take two time blocks. And then other than that, I am going to be working on my Instagram post, editing and taking the picture. And so that will take a time block. And then I'm going to be working on Chrissy Ann Designs. Now, if I'm doing the Patreon Live and the Instagram post and my normal amount of time post dialysis is about uh, 10 time blocks because it's about five hours, then that would be seven time blocks left for Chrissy Ann Designs. So we'll just say six. We'll say one, two, three. We'll do six more time blocks. So that brings it to nine, which is going to be about right. All right. Next, Wednesday. I do not do dialysis that day, so this can just be the whole day, but I do have a clinic visit, so that's sucking out. Now, normally on a Wednesday, I would get started and then work my way through, but this actually can kind of be treated like a dialysis day because I will be back by one, except I won't have any dialysis stuff. So, I'm still going to have about 10 time blocks to work with on Wednesday. First and foremost, I'll be working on comments for the video that goes live on Wednesday. So that's one time block. I will be filming two videos. So that will be four time blocks. I have that one project I was talking about there, which I am anticipating being four time blocks, which will kind of take me right there to the edge of what I think is going to be available that day. And that's not what I thought I was going to do. So. That means I'm going to be moving some shit around on my schedule. But that gives me a total of nine. Did I say 10 time blocks? Yeah, I have 10 time blocks. Okay, cool. Well, with 10 time blocks, then I will work on some more files, create more files with one time block. All right, moving forward. Thursday, my mother-in-law arrives and we're going to have the dialysis time and the not so dialysis time. All right, so on my dialysis time on Thursday, we're going to be fit wrapping up the uh, Instagram and reels by scheduling and captions and things like that. And so that in and of itself will likely take about one time block. You know what? No, I'm wrong. No, because I'll be filming these. Plus I'll be taking the photo, working on the reels. So that's one time block. So that's my 10 right there. Content creation on Wednesday. So doing the Instagram and reels will be one. The other things I'll be doing on dialysis that day is editing. So editing and scheduling one, video two, which in and of itself should take the entire rest of my time. So about four, maybe less, maybe more. If I don't finish, I can scooch that into Friday. All right. And then on the rest of Thursday, when my mother-in-law is arriving, I need to finish the rest of my files. Actually, I'll do that on Friday. Finish files, which should take about probably four time blocks and order which should take, I can't spell today, order, which should take about one time block or five time blocks total. If I spend all of Friday ordering all of my products, then I'll be good to go because I just have to finish the files up. Um, but then on Thursday, after that, it's going to be like a nose to the grindstone Christian Designs kind of day. So we're talking, if I've got, my mother-in-law arrives at five, so that will be, you know, eight time blocks. That gives me time to do four more sections. One, two, three, four, eight time blocks. More if my mother-in-law gets here late, her flight gets delayed or whatever. I'm doing most of my admin tasks on Sunday, my reviews, my things like that, scheduling next week. So I'm just gonna put five time blocks for whatever I can get done off of this list. And then off of dialysis, the only work I'm gonna be doing is comments. And that's it for Sunday. I'm trying to keep the rest of Sunday light because my mother-in-law is there just like Saturday. I'm not gonna do anything, hopefully. So then the only thing that's left on my list to really wrap up is more Chrissy and design work on Friday. And that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put in another eight time blocks. That would give me for the whole week, eight, 16, um, 22, 28, 30, as opposed to the 44 I've got, which means I'll probably have to move some stuff to next week. But 
that's going to just be how I'm going to do it because I'm trying to fill my life in. I make assumptions when I plan my month, my quarter out, but then as the time goes on, I have to fill it in. If worst comes to worst, I can always do a couple more on Saturday. I don't like to work on Saturdays. Normally I like to take two days off, but when I'm in the midst of big freelance projects, you just got to do what you got to do. So this is my plan with me. It is the least cute thing on the planet, but I hope that this walked you through kind of how I determine what I get done on a given day. Again, Notion and my Google Calendar also play into this, but that's sort of how I figure this out. And now if I do this in my moxie life, I'm not sure if I'm going to break it out like this so much as if I might just find a different way. But this way, it kind of gives me an idea. Like here I said 82 time blocks, but the actual planned time blocks look more like 20, 25. So there's 25 time blocks on dial. Wait. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 time blocks on dialysis. I'm just going to make a little list down here. I'm just going to put it over here for the actual planned. 25 plus 6, 9 is 15, 16, 17, 21, 25, 33, 41, 44. 44 time blocks off of dialysis, which is 69. So 82 minus 69 is three, it's 13 time blocks that I do not have available to me. So I guess we'll see. So I hope that this was interesting to you. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see from me. Would you like to hear my philosophy on work planning and how I'm going to move it into my moxie life? I don't know. You let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends, peace.